This will be Honors Geometry Chapter 12 review covering surface area and volume. Just like with the area review, it's important that you not only know the formulas, but you understand the formulas as well. For surface area, that means that you understand that most of the formulas are based on the concept of finding the lateral area and then adding the area of the bases. So sometimes you'll need to double that if you're dealing with a prism. And if you're dealing with a pyramid, you of course would just add one base. Also remember with surface area that you're simply adding the areas of the two-dimensional figures that make up the solid. It's kind of helpful sometimes to count the faces to help acknowledge what type of surfaces you're working with. Are they rectangles? Are there triangles? And find those individual areas and simply add them up. Remember for volume that it's all the formulas are based on the concept of finding the area of the base and multiplying by the height. The base can be any number of uh, different types of polygons, a triangle, a rectangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, a circle. Also remember that with pyramids and cones, because the space shrinks as you move up from the base to the vertex, that you find the area of the base, multiply by the height, but then you also multiply by one third. So their formulas are slightly different, although it is calculated the same way. Again, like we talked about with areas for more complicated solids, make sure you write out a game plan. Establish what solids you're working with, find their individual information, add or subtract to find what you're looking for. Many times for surface area and volume, it might be helpful to draw a separate two-dimensional figure that represents the solid's base because you use the area of the base and not only the surface area calculation but also the volume. So we're going to do a practice of two different solids formed by putting together, um, in this first case, a cylinder and a cone. And the second example would be a prism and a pyramid. We're going to find surface area and volume on each, starting with surface area. So again, establishing a game plan here, if we want to find the total surface area of this figure, then we're going to recognize that what we have is the lateral area of a cone plus the lateral area of a cylinder plus the area of one circle base. Remembering that where the cone and the cylinder meet, that is not a surface. So we don't need to add that base. So filling in the formulas for the total surface area, the lateral area of a cone is found by multiplying the radius times the slant height times pi. The rad lateral lateral area of a cylinder is found by multiplying the circumference times the height of the cylinder plus the area of the circle base would be plus a pi r squared. So filling in our values, the radius of the cone is 3, the slant height is 5 times pi. The circumference would be the diameter times pi, so 6 pi times the height of the cylinder, which is 8, plus pi times the radius of the circle squared, so 3 squared pi. So our total surface area is going to be to add all of that up. 15 pi plus 48 pi plus 9 pi. So our total surface area of this solid would be 15 plus 9, which makes 24 pi plus 48 pi for 72 pi inches squared. So that was surface area of that circular base solid. Now to do the volume of that circular base solid. Again, kind of establishing a game plan. We would want to do the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder. So our total volume of the solid would be the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder. Volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times height, area of the base times height times a third, plus the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared times height. Now the difference in this problem is we need the height of the cone, and right now all we have is the slant height of five inches. The radius is three. The slant height, the radius, and the height make a right triangle. Using Pythagorean theorem, recognize you have a triple 
you'll find that the height of the cone is 4 inches. So plugging that in, we will have 1 third times pi. The radius of the cone is 3. The height of the cone we just found is 4 plus pi times, again, your radius squared 3 times the height of the cylinder, which is 8. So simplifying, we will have 1 third of 36 pi, which is 12 pi for the cone, plus 72 pi for the cylinder. Grand total of the volume, 72 pi plus 12 pi, would make 84 pi inches cubed for the volume of that solid. Moving on to the last solid here, what we have in this case is a square pyramid on top of a rectangular prism. So if we want to start off by finding the surface area, the total surface area of this solid would be found by finding the lateral area of the pyramid, which is all the triangles on the top, plus the lateral area plus the one base of the prism. So plus the surface area of the prism. But remember that we're not going to add the base or the surface where the pyramid sits on top of the prism. So working with the lateral area of the pyramid, that is the triangles on top. So if I draw a two-dimensional image, all of the triangles have the same base, and we were given a slant height of 5. So since it is a square pyramid, we have four of these triangles. So the lateral area of the pyramid is going to be 4 times 1 half. The base of each triangle is 6. The height of each triangle is 5. Then if we do the surface area of the prism, we have the four sides, which all the way around are 6 by 8. So we have four 6 by 8 rectangles on the sides of the prism, plus the base of the prism, which is 6 by 6, because it's a square. So adding all of this together for the total surface area, we will have 60 for the lateral area of the pyramid, plus 96 times 2, which would be 192 for the prism, plus 36. So our grand total for the total surface area would be 288 meters squared. Finally, finishing with the volume. The volume, again, is usually perceived as a little bit easier. So the total volume here is going to be the volume of the prism plus the volume of the pyramid. Plugging in our formulas, that's length times width times height on the prism. Volume of the pyramid is one-third area of the base times the height of the pyramid. Again, since we need to find the height of the pyramid, like the cone in the previous problem, the, radi the segment here on the base would be half of the sides, so that's 3. The slant height is 5, then we can find um, the height of our pyramid to be 4. So plugging in our numbers, length times width times height is 6 times 6 times 8 on the prism, plus 1 third. The base is a square on the pyramid, so that's area of the base, 36, times the height of the pyramid, 4. Grand total, we have 36 times 8. It's 288 units cubed, plus 48 units cubed for the pyramid. So adding that together, we have a grand total of 336 meters cubed for the volume.